Olympic sport fast. I wonder if they'd like bluegrass music as an Olympic sport. Yeah. I don't know about the nations being able to stay up. Maybe. Mr. Monroe said, uh, you know bluegrass is for the whole world. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. You know, I, I've, I've traveled a lot in my life. and No place have I ever gone that somebody didn't mention bluegrass music and, um, or played in a bluegrass band. So, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Mr. Monroe has a legacy like that, music that not even a hundred years old, went well, along from it, really, 1945 was when Earl joined Lester's, Lester and Bill's band, it was Bill, Bill's band, but Lester was already in the band, and um, made those recordings in 1946, but um, that's uh, it's pretty amazing that this music just spread all over the world like it. it. It's because it's great. It's because people love it. It moves people. There's fire in it. Fires start fires. <laughs> you know, cold embers start cold embers. So, but, uh, do you? Song my mom and dad used to sing in church. I used to listen to them sing this. And I thought mom, my mom wrote songs, and so I, I thought she wrote this when I was little. I, I thought that anyway. And, and uh, then we heard the Stanley Brothers on the radio, and they were doing it. And I thought, Mom, they're doing your song. She said, no, honey, we're doing their song. I said, oh. I was too young to understand publishing <laughs> and stuff still a little younger. <clears throat> anyway. But I know you know this one. It's a favorite everywhere. I, I think. I mean, I'm just thinking maybe. Maybe it's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jersey. Maybe.
seem to be 